Okay, hello there. Um, so today we're going to be looking at this system of inequalities with three variables and solving using a calculator. So the very first thing that I want to do is write out the equation. So I know that my equation for this is going to be a x equals b. So now I just have to define what these are. A is going to be my coefficient matrix. So I have to look at my system and look at my coefficients. How did that happen? Okay. So the first line I have coefficient of 1, 1, and 1. So that's my, going to be my first row for my matrix. My second row, I don't have an x. So I have 0 x's, 2 y's, and 5 z's. 2 and 5. Remember, this first column, this is all my x's, these are all my y's, and these are all my z's. So if I go down, I have 1x, 0x's, 2x's, 1y, 2y's, 5y's, and I end up with negative 1 as my coefficient here. Okay, that's A. X is going to be the matrix of variables. So I have X y and z. And again, I put these in a 3 by 1 matrix so that they can actually multiply here. And b is going to be my solution set. So 6, negative 4, and 27. Okay. Well, a, I'm going to multiply by x. Now remember, I want to get this matrix alone. I want to isolate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by the inverse of A. And now, what I'm left with when these two cancel out is X equals A inverse times B. So let's actually go through this using our calculator. So if I open up my calculator, there we go, here we go, and I open up my matrix menu, no, 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 okay, there we go, uh, sorry about that, second, x to the negative first, the matrix, and then I want to edit my first matrix A. And this is going to be my matrix A here. Oh, mm, nice, they match up. This is going to be a 3 by 3 matrix. So I hit 3, enter, 3, enter for my dimensions up here. And now it gives me a 3 by 3 grid. So the first row is going to be 1, 1, 1. My second row is 0, 2, 5, and my last row is 2, 5, negative 1. This is my matrix A. So now I can quit out of this menu, uh, open up the matrix menu again, and now I want to edit my matrix B. So I'm going to select that and ask for my dimensions again. So my matrix B is 6, negative 4, 27. So that is a 3 by 1 matrix. Uh, what was it again? 6, negative 4, 27. Great. Quit out of there. Now I can use my calculator to compute everything. So I can, if I want to find this matrix here, or, you know, my solution set, I have to take the inverse of A, so I go back to my matrix menu. This time I just, I don't hit edit. Under names, I just select A. 
In your calculator, there is a negative first power button. That looks like this, doesn't it? It denotes the inverse of A. Select my matrix menu again. Select B. And now I have inverse of A times B, just like over here. Hit enter on my calculator, and now it gives me this, 5, 3, negative 2. So down here, remember my X matrix is going to be X, Y, and Z. Now I have 5, 3, negative 2. So 5, 3, negative 2. So my solution is 5, 3, negative 2. Now, of course, I can always go back to check by plugging this in. 5 plus 3 is 8, minus 2 is 6. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 5 times negative 4, or the 5 times negative, I'm sorry, negative 2, that's going to be a negative 10, plus... 10. Oh, hmm. Silly me. This is a y. So 2 times 3 is 6, minus 10 is 4. Ah, oof, scared me for a second. Uh, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 5 times 3 is 15. That's 25 total, plus a negative 2, or, you know, minus negative 2 is plus 2. Gives me 27. So all these check out with my solutions. So this is my answer. Okay, have a good day.